The first thing to do was to remove all the connections from the power supply and actually let it sit for a little while to make sure that uh, the capacitors and everything had drained of all their power and then to disconnect the laser wires and the pin connection. Checking the pin connections on the label next to the serial number for the old power supply shows the pinout connections on it and the pinouts for the cloud ray laser they're labelled right next to the sockets. Fitting the new cloud ray laser power supply inside the machine is quite easy. The mounting holes weren't quite in the same position so I just drilled and screwed into the new position. So then it was just a matter of reconnecting the uh, power plugs back to the side of the machine, uh, making sure all the wires were out of the way and securing those, then reconnecting the laser power leads, the red and the white, reconnecting those, making sure everything's out of the way and secure, and finally time to give it a test.